As the title suggests, in this video I'm going to talk about the abuse problem in the UK YouTube community. If you don't feel comfortable watching this video, then this is your warning. Click away now. To summarise the problem in case you weren't aware, allegations of manipulation, assault, harassment and rape have been made about various male UK YouTubers. Most of these allegations involved fans and some of these fans were underage. Last year, allegations were made about Ed Plant and earlier this year, allegations were made about Tom Milsom, Alex Day and his cousin Danny. This past week, people have come forward with allegations about Sam Pepper and Jason whose YouTube username is V1I. I'd like to think that this will be the end of it, um, but realistically, there could be more. It's not ever up to anybody else to dictate how the victim of abuse reacts to what's happened to them. Many people do not feel comfortable going to the police to formally report assault or rape. That's not just a problem that's in the online community, that's reflected across statistics all around the world. Coming forward publicly to say that you've been abused by someone who has hundreds of thousands or even millions of devoted subscribers is an incredibly difficult and scary thing to do. False allegations, although they do sometimes occur, are extremely rare. While it's true that we as a community aren't judges and we aren't juries, we do have a responsibility to those who come forward with allegations and for what might happen to others in the future if we don't choose to act. I keep seeing people say, well, I wasn't surprised by those other YouTube guys, but my favourite YouTuber would never do this. Or, I don't condone rape, but I love this YouTuber and people make mistakes. It should be obvious by now that just because you watch someone online, just because you enjoy their content, just because you've loved them for years or you feel like they've been there for you when nobody else has, it doesn't mean you know them and it doesn't mean you know what they are and are not capable of. Abuse users should not be welcome in this community. Stop watching them, stop following them, we do not want them here. Our responsibility is to support people who come forward with allegations and to make it clear that this is a space where people should feel that they are safe and that they can speak up, that we will support them, that we will not choose the hurt feelings or lost earnings of alleged abusers over the lives of their victims. A pattern of abusive behaviour is not a mistake. If we continue to support people after these serious allegations have been made, and in some cases after these people have admitted to this behaviour, we are helping to keep them in a position of power that's facilitated abuse in the first place. Do not get sucked in just because somebody sees that their YouTube career is about to disappear and says they're sorry or they didn't know that what they were doing was wrong. Bullshit. These people are apologising because they got caught. I believe that if somebody was truly sorry for their behaviour and if they were actually dedicated to making sure that they never manipulated, abused or assaulted anybody again, they would remove themselves from the community and from the position of power that facilitated their behaviour. They would know that they did not deserve a place in it anymore and that by trying to stay a part of it they would make that community unsafe for people who've been victims of their behaviour in the past. Apparently Ed Plant, who publicly stated in a blog post last year that the allegations against him were true, thinks it's now acceptable to make videos again. That is the opposite of changing and growing. Nobody has a right to a big audience or to a career online. I've been talking about the UK YouTube community because that's the one that I consider myself a part of, but all of this applies to any community. I know there have been allegations against YouTubers in other countries and I'll link to blog posts about that in the description. I'm also going to link to websites and hotlines that you can talk to if you've ever experienced manipulative or abusive behaviour. Please know that whether or not you feel able to make an official report, there's always somebody you can talk to. On a more general note, I've spoken about this in a previous video, but I feel like I need to reiterate. When someone is abused, it is never the victim's fault. It doesn't matter if they have a history, it doesn't matter if they willingly went back to their house. That is not an excuse for assaulting or raping somebody. Legally, if somebody coerces somebody else into sex, it is rape. If somebody gets someone else drunk in order to have sex with them, that is rape. If somebody has sex with a minor, that is statutory rape. To all the people I've seen doing this lately, please stop making it excuses for rapists. You are part of the problem. And to all of you, let's start working towards making this community a safe place for everyone.